Hey fellas, welcome back to another episode here at the Bancor. Um, apologize for the long delay in the last video, but um, I'm excited to be with you today and I have a couple of updates that I wanted to share with you. I hope you're all doing very well. Uh, for those of you that are new here, the main core is a community of men digging to the core to figure out who they really are, why they're really here, and who it is that they really want to become. I would love it if you would subscribe and join our community, Thriving to Build Men for the Future. So it has been probably about a week since I have posted a video, and uh, I apologize for the delay again, but uh, there's a good reason for it, and it is because really one simple reason. I've been focusing like hell on my self-improvement, my self-growth, and uh, just personally improving who I am. And you know, we're never we're never done refining, we're never done figuring out and digging to the core who it is that we really are, what we uh, what we're really here to achieve, what our purpose is. And you know, I guess since you know the last two weeks of February and the first week of March, I've really been digging in, and so that's why there's been a bit of a delay, but. Uh, that's really the the theme of today's video is the importance of self-growth and uh, self-development and you know it's kind of always been a topic that uh, guys have tended to stray away from uh, not the least of which is myself but uh, you know there's a lot of value in um, you know just refining and improving whether you are trying to read or trying to become a better manager a better communicator better in your relationships a better father a better leader better in business um, if you're trying to you know improve your business if you're trying to become better in sales if you're trying to look for a new a new job if you're trying to improve your communication skills whatever it may be it's always important that you don't get stagnated and that you don't uh, settle for where you're currently at. You know, I think the biggest uh, the biggest challenge that guys face is that you know we're always we're always directed and we always kind of want to tend to move in one direction. And then once we attain a goal or once we you know set out to achieve something that we eventually attain, or maybe on the flip side we don't attain it, then we kind of tend to stagnate and we get a little uh, you know too still about what's uh, what hasn't happened, and it's important that we kind of reflect on on what that is, and 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 really how the meanings that we associate to them. So, there is a book that I've been reading to that has really uh, opened my eyes in terms of like my own intrinsic value, how I perceive myself, and it's called the Manual. I'll post a link to it down in the notes, but you know, there's a there's a lot of really good value in there for guys about understanding the the social dynamics of all the things that we grow up with so uh, to give you and I'm just halfway through the book but to give you kind of a high level overview of my understanding of it so far is all the things that we learn like after we're born so if you look at kids and you look at how they act how they interact they're kind of self-involved they don't really have a lot of shame they don't have a lot of guilt they don't really tend to get like you know too outside of themselves and while that is unhealthy and we need to make sure that we're not uh, just totally self-involved, self-focused, that's ego. We've talked about that. Um, you know, they just don't really have any shame um, and they just kind of, they play in life and they kind of play in their own world. And as we grow older, the things that we as parents or as adults tell those kids that they want to avoid, they tend to cause shame. They tend to cause, uh, you know, kids or T t they tend to cause people to kind of retract or to repress, whether that be emotions or feelings or intentions. And, you know, when you, when you pair that with a lot of other things that we experience just as humans in life, that stacks against you in a lot of ways. So where I'm at now is on chapter three. And, uh, you know, I'm learning a lot about just kind of getting back to that like childlike behavior where you're just kind of carefree. You just don't have a lot of like attachments to things. You go after what you want. You you don't have any fears, and uh, you have a you have an abundant mindset. And you you kind of lose your attachments to things when they don't work out. You just you you have this more carefree attitude. And I know that a lot of you can relate to it because even if you look at pictures of yourself or videos of yourself when you were a kid, you you notice that there's that there's a freeness or an openness and a carefree. Uh, carefreeness about about what you're seeing 
And getting back to that though is tough, but it's a lot of it uh, result, a lot of it results from the social conditioning that we learn. Um, again, about our feelings, about what we want, about you know going after things, about fear, about shame, about sex, about attraction, about you know our desires. A lot of that stuff we we kind of get to, or for guys to not cry. You know that's another one. So we repress a lot of that shit, and then you know enough years of it, then we we end up just kind of being a shell of, of who we really are. And that's, uh, that's really dangerous. So, you know, it's, it's a good book and I, and I do, I do want to recommend it again. I'll post the, the notes down below, but you know, he's, he's, he's really under, or he's really teaching me that like there, there's a really good piece of it that you want to kind of get back to, but to also distance yourself from the bad parts of like, you know, being the selfish of like not sharing, and you know stealing you know kind of you know kids kind of tend to do some of that shit so um i'd highly recommend it and you know it's it's really opened my eyes and you know he starts off talking about intrinsic value so you know as guys we think that you know we have to kind of like earn women and or that we have to like earn things and a lot of that stems from what we're taught in social conditioning which is Okay, if you become really rich or if you become really wealthy or famous, then all that stuff will come. You'll get status. You'll feel better about yourself. You'll look better. You'll have nicer things. You'll, uh, you know, attract more beautiful women. And, you know, if, if you do reach that status, you absolutely will. Uh, the, the thing about it is, is that you've attached your value about how you feel about yourself to something external. And you will always fail doing that. I ha I've done it too. Uh, I still battle with it. We're just, you know, we're kind of wired that way because we're we're go getters. But when you when you switch off of that and you switch it to something that is more intrinsic, that it doesn't matter what people think of you. It doesn't matter what kind of job you have, what kind of car you drive. It doesn't ma matter what people think about you, what people say about you, their opinions, their percep perceptions, all of the things that we experience. If you attach your value to any of those things, those are all external and you will always fail if you're attaching your own personal value to things outside of yourself. I struggled with a, for a long time about understanding what self-care is and understanding my own value. I, I really did. I didn't understand the, the concept of self-care. I was like, what the fuck? Am I supposed to like hug myself? Like I just didn't, I didn't understand what it was and I'm still learning about what it is, but um, I, I can tell you that, you know, really working on yourself, improving your health emotionally and physically, improving your knowledge, improving your skill set, improving who you are as a human, being more transparent, be more open and honest, and uh, going for the things that you want, losing your attachments to things, and, and really living in that free, carefree state, and uh, having that abundant mindset is is really something that the world will will kind of cater to. So. In the last video I posted, you know, I, I talked a lot about, you know, the king eats first and taking care of everything in your own life. And that is really starting to flourish and open up uh, concepts for me personally. So what I mean by that is because I'm taking care of everything in my life um, and I'm doing what I can, I'm putting in the effort to make sure that I'm taking care of, of the king, of, of number one, the you know, the rest of the world and things are starting to open up to me. People are, are seeking out advice. People are much more warm, receptive, open. And, um, you know, they're, they're attracted. They're drawn to, uh, you know, the energy that I'm putting out. More opportunities, more opportunities at work, more opportunities outside of work. Um, and, you know, the, the world just kind of opens up to you when you take care of yourself. If you're, if you're operating from a place of, of attaching your value to a job or a particular date or getting a particular car, even if you get there, once you do and you have it, you're still left with that same pit in your stomach. You're still left with that same feeling. But if you take care of everything and you take care of yourself, it doesn't matter if you lived in a, in a fucking box or if you lived in a mansion. As long as you feel, felt good about yourself and as long as you took care of what you needed to do as a man, that's the only thing that you can do. And the reality is, is that when you take care of number one and when you take care of yourself, you know, the world does open up to you. Opportunities, people, they just, 
The world will conspire to help you when you help yourself. Or I guess I should say, when you help yourself first, the world will conspire with you. And that is really, really something that as I've evolved into my own self-help and, and self-development and self-growth, I've understood and I see more and more of every day. And it, it continues to motivate me to, to want to move forward. And uh, I hope that you know the content that you're getting from this channel is something that you guys are finding really good value in. I love the comments. Please continue to, uh, to share and engage and uh, share the channel with anybody that you think would be uh, good contributors here to the main core. We're building community for future uh, good men of, of the world and uh, you're a part of that movement. So uh, I'm grateful for, uh, you know, for you being a part of the community and for engaging with the video. If there's a topic that you'd like me to cover in a future video, please do send me an email or uh, comment on that and I will, uh, I'll cover a topic that you'd like to see. My email is themancorproject at gmail.com. And uh, if there's anybody that uh, you think would be of value or a good contributor here to the Mancorp, please do share the channel with them and uh, invite them to join our community. I have to run to work, fellas, but uh, continue to work on yourself, self-help, self-growth, and uh, self-improvement. That's what we're here to do. But uh, thank you for tuning in. It's great to be with you again today, and I hope you have a great weekend. Cheers to you.